Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code. In this video, let's try to solve the problem. What is a valid palindrome? So, given a string S, determine if it is a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. So, the given string here consists of alphanumeric characters as well as some special characters. So, other characters like comma, semicolon, or space, or any other character. So, uh, our job is to check if the string is a palindrome or not by ignoring these characters and also ignoring the case so that means we need to treat capital letters and small letters equally so uh, before going to the uh, problem solution so what is a palindrome so a palindrome is a string which reads same on both sides so when you read the string from forward or backward it reads same so an example here is a b c b a so if you see a b c b a and if you read from backward a b c b a so both are same same way uh, this is a palindrome so uh, yeah, so this is the palindrome. So how do we check? So we need to ignore the characters, special characters. Then we need to ignore case. So let's say we have a uh, normal string without any you know, special characters. We have only alphabets and numbers. So in that case, how do we check if it is if it is a palindrome? So basically, what we can do is because the string should read same on both sides. So we can do, we can take two pointers, that means two variables. So we start from both sides. Let's say A B C. B A. So you start from uh, forward direction, then backward direction. Check if both the characters are same. So both are same. Then you move forward. Then you check the next two characters. So they both are same. Then you next move to next character. So now we, we only have one character, so it is equal. So this is a palindrome. So that way we check if the string is a palindrome or not. But now we have other characters apart from alphabets and numbers. So how do we do that? So basically, uh, one straightforward approach would be you pre-process the string, remove all the special characters and make a final string then check if the string is a palindrome or not but that requires you to process the string twice that means your time complexity will be twice the normal time complexity so can we do better than that? yes, so what we can do is we will use the same two point approach so uh, whenever we encounter a special character we just skip it and move to next character until we get a uh, alphabet or number so you keep moving in one direction till you get an alpha alpha numeric character same way from the other direction you keep moving till you get an alpha numeric character so whenever you get alpha numeric character in both both the uh, places you compare if they are same or not ignoring case so if they are same you move ahead if they are not equal that means this is a not this is not a palindrome so you can straight away return false you don't have to process much thing further so let's try to implement the same uh, approach so before that let's see the examples so here we have a string here so we will ignore by ignoring all these characters spaces and special characters we get a string like this so if you see this this string is same in both directions so it is a palindrome whereas in the second input we have race a car so if you see this this is not race so this is race in the forward direction but this is not race so this is false this is not a palindrome so constraints are like uh, the string length can be till uh, 2 star and 4 5 so this is pretty huge so we need to uh, come up with a better approach so as we discussed our approach is it will be in the order of work and so that should work fine so let's see so let's see the uh, solution for both java and c++ so let's Yeah, so basically we take two pointers, two index, so i will start from 0, j will start from the other direction, so last character of a uh, given string is, so you just check while i less than j, so here unity can, here there will be two cases, so your string can have uh, odd number of characters or your string can have even number of characters, if your string has even number of characters then you will have match, to, you will have match for every character, so in, for every left character there will be right character. But you have, but if you have odd number of characters, then there will be one additional character which will be in the center. So you don't have to check that character because that will be a same for both sides. So basically, you just check till while i less than j. So you don't have to check equal to. So first thing is we need to move uh, index i forward until we get one alpha numeric character. So if so, we have a function is letter or digit which will check if the given character is a letter or digit. So if it is not letter or digit, that means it is a special character, you just skip it, so you move forward. Same way, in the other direction, for j, in the other direction of the string, if it is not a letter or digit, 
you move uh, hair ahead you move your index uh, forward then once you get both i and j uh, point to alpha numeric character then you compare if they are equal or not as mentioned before we need to take care of the uh, case here so we just ignore the case so we can convert it to either uh, lower case or upper case anything is fine so we can use two lower case function you convert the character to lower case again convert the, convert the character at the other end also to lower case and check if they are equal or not if they are not equal you can straight away return false because you don't have to process this thing further because it is not a palindrome if they are equal then you move ahead so i plus plus and j minus minus so you continue this process till you uh, finish till i less than j so once you come out of the loop that means every character is same in both directions so it is a palindrome so you just return true so uh, yeah let's uh, submit the code yeah so it is 2 milliseconds let's check c++ code as well it's pretty much same as java implementation except the uh, functions what we use so here again we check uh, i and j then we check whether it is alpha numeric character or not and we move the index based on that then we check use two lower function then compare both the strings both the characters then finally return true so let's submit this as well yeah so the solution has been accepted so the final formula for this solution is o of n thanks for watching